welcome back to the touchline here on Y254. It's a big week that we have been experiencing in the world of sport. And now we turn our attention to the Kenya motorsport, and that is majorly the Safari Rally. In 2019, Kenya will be hosting the WRC candidate event that is going to happen here in Kenya to see if Kenya is actually ready to host the 2020 World Rally Championship here in the country. It has been a very long time since 2002 when Kenya lost this event to Turkey and we are hoping that by 2020 Kenya can gain this event back. Joining us here in studio is one veteran rally navigator Abdul Sidi, who has also turned out to be one of the best safari rally journalists this country has ever produced. Mr. Abdul, welcome to the touchline here on Y254. It has been a long time since you were here last. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. It's nice to be back here at KBC. Yeah. And <laughs> my early days, uh, mm. yeah, KBC was in the forefront. Yes. And live uh, shows and all that used to happen. Mama yeah. Jugona was your one of your... <laughs> Guys, I remember. And yes, uh, yes uh, thank you. Thank you for your getting me here. Th this is the youngest station for KBC now. It's Y254. Uh, yeah, I can see all the young people here. <laughs> <laughs> all young people yeah. in the So, we started off with the, the, the motorsport calendar is actually open, and the first race that went on was Baldev Shaga winning the Kajiado Rally Championships last weekend. Well, uh, what is your take from the rally last weekend? How was the performance like? Um, <clears throat> that was the second event of the calendar. Uh -huh. The yeah. first rally was the Nakuru Rally, organized yes. by Rift Valley Motorsports Club. And yes. the, the event was won by Onkar Rai. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, Onkar didn't take part in the Kenya Motorsports Club Rally, which was the second round of yes. the 2019. Uh -huh. uh, Baldev Chaga, uh -huh. former Safari Rally champion, former national champion, yes. and uh, former winner of the event. He won it. Yeah. And... Uh, the general feeling was mm -hmm. KMSC uh, organized a very good event. Mm -hmm. The stages were smooth, drivers didn't complain. Mm -hmm. And I think because the sp st stages were that smooth, yes. there were 12 dropouts, which is the largest so far mm -hmm. this season and I think last year yeah. when uh, entries, there the, the were 20, 27 uh, cars which started mm -hmm. and 12 fell to finish. No accidents, it's yeah. just mechanical, but ah. we're well running an event. Well, as we are talking about the rallies that will be happening here in the country, one of <coughs> the, your students last year, actually we played that clip because of Tuta Mionki. When we did that story, it was last year, but one, Tuta just joined your school, the Abdul Sidi Rally Academy, and last year she was voted the sports personality of the year. What was that like for the Abdul Sidi Rally Academy? Uh, to me, self-satisfaction. Yes. Uh, something that really encourages me to do what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, when I started, uh, it wasn't very encouraging. I thought sport being expensive, I will not see people come back. But uh, already there are 60 who are rallying in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I've won the respect of the rally people, not only in Kenya, in Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, yes. Tanzania. But Tuta being uh, crowned the sports personality of the year, mm -hmm. uh, it's a brilliant uh, thing for, the, for us, uh, Abdul Sidi Rally Academy. Mm -hmm. Very polite girl, very yeah. good navigator. Mm -hmm. And the driver himself, also the person she navigates, is uh, my student, Eric Bengi. Yes. He's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So it says a lot, and I'm pleased. A very short span of time that you have had with the school, but you have had a really big impact in the safari rally here in Kenya, because now we have got more than 100 students who are actually actively involved in safari rally and motorsport in Kenya. Actually, last year, safari mm. rally mm. took about 100 students of mine yeah. who acted as senior officials, timekeepers, marshals, mm -hmm. uh, everything that had to do with the safari yeah. and this year is the same i've got senior officials in the team mm -hmm. who are my students mm -hmm. helen chiri yes. she's the secretary mm -hmm. uh, noris ongalo so he's the chief safety officer and mm -hmm. several others uh, makes me makes me proud makes me feel uh, yes i've mm -hmm. done the right thing yeah. and uh, it's something that is really keeping me 
uh, life, yeah. I've become a very boring spectator. <laughs> I actually do yes. not go and watch rallies. I do my <laughs> updates and everything yeah. from home. Yeah. And uh, it really it motivates my ambitions, my feelings, my yeah. everything. And I, I'm pleased. Because you are getting really many mm. people outside there. From last year also, we got another global recognition, and that was Helen Sherry who was given a global recognition by the Safari Rally, the World, the yeah. world, Champ the world Rally Champions Rally Project, and they named a, a global icon in the event. How does this make us feel as Kenyans as we are getting out there globally recognized in Safari Rally? We are, we are being recognized. Uh, mm -hmm. Apart from Helen, I was invited to Rwanda, Rwanda Kigali, uh -huh, yes. by FIA president, mm -hmm. where I was given the opportunity to go and address the senior officials of motorsport in the world, mm. Africa, uh, giving me the chance to talk of what I have been doing, yes. uh, growing motorsport from the grassroots, mm. and all this, I'm doing it for free of charge. I don't yes. charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is something that I'm the, I take pride because I'm the only one in Africa who does it. Yes. Forget even the South Africans, Zimbabwe, and all that. Yeah. And I've got followers who follow me from South Africa to Rundi. Worldwide, worldwide, yeah. and all that, and uh, it's it's a unique, unique thing. And Helen to be given that award, mm. she's been recognized as a good secretary yes. for the World Rally Championship event, the Safari. So it's being recognized that the Kenyans have got the ability, mm. and they've got the right people to run the show, yeah. and hopefully that can drive us to WRC, mm -hmm. uh, uh, proper WRC status in 2020 yeah as we are going to talk about now the proper hosting of the event in 2020 i understand that ian campbell the british rally championship some of the people are involved with the british rally championship he's in the country in because of the fia to look at our event and see if we are ready to host that event when you look at these officials body language when they come here in our country from your perspective. Do we have that hope that we can manage and actually FIA will be like now have this event? To be honest, yeah. uh, it's very, very deceiving to see what is in their eyes and yes. in their hearts. Uh -huh. yeah. But as a Kenyan, yeah. uh, we have that confidence that our team has done the right thing, yes. has put in the right effort. And the government, through President Kenyatta, has yes. come in directly yeah. to try and get the status that we have been looking for from 2002. Yeah. Now, Campbell is a, a event director for British Rally Championship. Yes. He, he is here, and uh, uh, Lathanen, mm -hmm. the 15 times WRC uh, rally, uh, rally uh, uh, contender. Yes. Uh, he is also here, yes. and they have been appointed by FIA senior officials yeah. to come and assess mm -hmm. what the local organizers have done so far mm -hmm. in readiness for the Safari Rally, which will kick off on July 5th. Now, sticking to that, mm -hmm. what have we done so far? The, what what has the, the organization that the Safari Rally led by your chairman, Mr. Fenas Kimati, so far? What has actually been put in place so that we can have this candidate event first in 2019? There's a team that has been working for the last seven months. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I can assure you they've been doing great jobs. They've been going up and down, up and down. And uh, it's never easy. Yes. Uh, you, one, one of the, the recommendations that the stages must be closed we can't have open uh, stages yes because safety is paramount when we say stages must be closed we don't want to see even a giraffe cro crossing <laughs> yeah. or a zebra crossing <laughs> yes uh, uh, in front of a rally car uh -huh. and that is how strict they are yes yeah. so the the team has been uh, today the officials are with the local team yes uh, they're in uh, uh, Naiwasha uh -huh. they're looking at the stages the rally, the program is, it will kick off on, uh, on July 5th yes. from uh, Kasarani Stadium with a sp special stage, mm -hmm. then go to Naivasha, mm -hmm. spend the night and start the following day. Mm -hmm. It's around that area, Soisambu and uh, Sleeping Warrior, mm -hmm. two stages on the first day, 
to be repeated mm. and then the second day they're mm. going to Kedong yes again two stages to be repeated mm -hmm. and then come back but now the officials are there today yes checking at each and every stage mm -hmm. and looking and assessing mm -hmm. what are the chances of this event being successful yeah have they put in enough efforts yeah to me i would like to think yes yeah. they uh -huh. have done it but yeah. what the fias read sometime mm. the officials may be reading from a different book yeah yeah but we keep our fingers crossed yeah. Overall, overall, what is the main object? What is the main thing that they look at as they, as Kenya is bidding to host this event? As FIA, what exactly? What is their main objective, and what is the main thing that they look at at the end of the day? Let me tell you, mm. motorsport is dangerous. Yeah, and safety is paramount. Uh -huh. And cars are getting so fast now. Yes, unlike the olden days mm. where it was endurance. Uh -huh. How safely can you drive from A to B? Yes. Now it is how quickly can you drive from A to B mm -hmm. without any obstructions, yes. any cows, any goats, any chicken, mm -hmm. animals crossing the road, forget yes. human beings. Uh -huh. So they look at safety mm -hmm. and see how you have organized your event mm -hmm. so that no outside interference is worked on the rally on the day of the day, yes. the rally. Mm -hmm. Then you've got special spectator stages mm -hmm. where they are told to park your car here mm -hmm. and walk down there and that's it. Uh -huh. You cannot drive in that stage. Yes. So safety is paramount. Mm -hmm. The rest is how, how good an event is with your organization. Yeah. Safety, medical, all that you've done. Yeah. Then how are you going to invite your drivers? How well are, going, are they going to be taken care of? Uh -huh. How are the hotels accommodation? Mm -hmm. And you need to look at if all these teams are coming here, and if they come, yes. where are they going to sleep? Uh -huh. So you yes. need to look at all those hotels around that area. Mm -hmm. And I'm told they've seen hotels and they're able to check in nearly 15,000 people yeah. at, a, at any one time. So yes, it is paramount. It mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. And safety is the, on the highest point. Uh, talking of the stages that will be happening, because uh, the 2019 is a candidate event, what, what is the difference between a WRC candidate event in 2019 and the WRC Rally Championship in 2020? A candidate event is an event where you have been given the chance to run that event mm -hmm. and show to the FI officials this is exactly what we will do uh -huh. when we get a WRC event. Yes. WRC, you get it. It's now you're part of that big circus uh -huh. where there are 12 events in the world, yes. 12, 12 or 10 events, yeah. and you're part of that calendar, mm -hmm. yeah. the WRC, what we used to play in the olden days until 2002. Yeah. So this year, it is our chance to Im impress the uh -huh. FI officials yeah. to tell them, listen, whatever we are doing to here mm -hmm. is exactly what we are going to do in when we get yes. that WRC event. So that is why it is a candidate event. Yeah. Mm. Taking you back to a nostalgic feel of your safari rally days, and in specifically when we had this event up to 2002, what is the main difference from the 2002 event and the events in 2019 and 2020? Uh, the olden days safaris, they were longer. Yeah. The stages were longer and they were on open roads. Yes. We used to drive from uh, Kedong to Tulele, you go to Kilifi, Mombasa, mm -hmm. uh, Eldoret, mm -hmm. Maralal, all that side. It was spread across mm -hmm. the nation. Yes. Now it is centered on one spot mm -hmm. near in Naivasha. That is the difference. Yeah. Because the cars have become so fast mm -hmm. and very expensive. Mm -hmm. A Skoda yes. is 25 million Kenya shillings. One Skoda. Now. Now. Yes. One suspension of a Skoda mm -hmm. is 1.2 million, uh -huh. therefore, and you wow. need spares. Uh -huh. Fuel, yeah. they use F-gas. Uh -huh. One liter of uh, F-gas gives you 2.5 kilometers. Wow. So you so need like a whole barrel. Yeah. So yeah. the cars are yeah. with 100 liter tank, they mm -hmm. will not be able to do longer stages. Yes. They have to do two or three stages, come back to the service, uh -huh. fill it up, Go again, uh -huh. fill it up. Yeah. In the olden days, the whole tank would give you a thousand kilometers sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah. 
big changes that are happening yeah. here in the safari rally industry let's hope that gene todd will be hoping that they can go ahead and give us this event but you are a big fan of the safari and this, what do you do these days when you are relaxed back home like i was just uh, discussing <laughs> with you i've become such a boring spectator yeah but i've not lost interest am i mm -hmm. it really keeps me alive i am uh, i am really let me tell you i'm getting I'm getting, uh, I'll be 65 in April, yeah? <laughs> wow. and I still feel strong. Yeah. The, the sport has really kept me active. Yeah. It, is, yeah. uh, it has given me everything that I needed in life. Yeah. I've seen the world, I've yeah. uh, rallied with the best teams and yeah. the, with the best drivers. Yeah. And now, uh, with this technology, yeah. one, it's brilliant, but it's antisocial. It's it antisocial. Discour <laughs> discourages you from yeah. going to the areas and yes. do have coverage. Uh -huh. I sit at home, uh -huh. and then I am, I am, I'm recognized everywhere. I've won yeah. the respect of the people around. I've got yeah. about 30,000 uh, followers on Facebook. Yeah. I've got lots of WhatsApp groups yeah. and people follow me from across the world. Yeah. So I give them updates. Whatever second to second happening in the rally, yeah. I am informed. Yeah. I'm also connected to the main uh, yeah. Safari Rally HQ yeah. and I've got my own informers on the roads. So I've got all that information. Uh, uh, you know, you are one inspirational figure in the world of sports. Because I understand that you did not even finish high school. You decided rally is my thing and I'm going for it into rally. And now you are teaching even university professors what to do about safari rally. You are being invited to conventions worldwide to discuss safari rally, to give academicians about safari rally. Just to be a big inspiration in this country. And uh, me as a journalist, I'm one of the people who is inspired by your journalism career. I how did it start and how did you end up becoming one of the biggest safari rally journalists in the world? Uh, I thank God. Yeah. Uh, when I, my schoolmate yeah. was Kiretu Murungi, Meru. The Meru governor. The senator of Meru, yeah. <laughs> yeah yes. So we, we used to be in the same school, but yeah. then at the end of uh, Form 1, yeah. I decided I didn't want to continue. And my parents were well to do. Uh -huh. And they didn't ask me why yes. you're not going to do this. Uh -huh. But from the day I left, when I left school, there was not a dream of me becoming a rally driver. Yeah. I just left. Mm -hmm. But I was very actively involved. I represented Eastern Province Secondary School in basketball. Uh -huh. I played football, cricket, and volleyball, and all that. Yeah. And I kept myself active with all sports. Yes. And uh, got into motorsport when I was uh, about 30 yeah. and uh, I, I, I just I can't believe where I am today because yeah. I was able to navigate Kenyan champions Patrick Giru as a runner. I was able to navigate mm. African fire seven times African champion Satwan Singh from Zambia in Uganda yeah. and I navigated world group N champion Gregor yeah. Dimevius uh -huh. in the safari. Yes. Who? Abdul Sidi? Uh -huh. Yeah, and then when I started, even Kishinga Jorogi was the editor at Nation. N yes, and he said, Abdul, why don't you write for Nation? Uh -huh. I said, Me, no, I don't have that brains Mind. like you. <laughs> no, yes. I don't have brains like you. No, uh -huh. no, 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 it's simple. Yeah, eventually, about six, seven months later, I got a big typewriter and uh -huh. started writing. Uh -huh. 400 words is like five hours. You yeah. know, I'm just copying <laughs> stories, they are <laughs> one by one. And he helped me. Yeah. But now I've won the respect of the media houses in Kenya, in Africa, in the mm. world. Yes. And uh, I have done press offices in Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, mm. Uganda, yeah. Burundi, Kenya. Mm. Yes. And I write for the nation, been writing for the nation for the last 30 years. Yes. And uh, I must say, and I do tell the youngsters, okay? Yes. Please do not tell your parents Abdul Sidi didn't do from one and see where he is. No. <laughs> Go and finish. Go and finish. Yeah. One thing, mm -hmm. I never drank in my life and I never yes. smoked in my life. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, has given me and me lots of respect for people. As a navigator, you're a lady looking for a husband. Yes. Or a husband looking for a wife mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the moment the word goes there, Nani Ule, mm -hmm. don't. You know, that's fire. Yes. For in my case, now it was like that, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I started from nursery school to up there, and yeah. as you said, I have, I have got students. Uh, yeah. Professor Aaron, who is in uh, uh, Nairobi University in Mombasa, yes. is one of my students. Uh -huh. And I, I am now able to talk yeah. to university lecturers, students, mm -hmm. uh, directors, CEOs, and all that. Mm -hmm. Simple. 
wow. my, my own dedication, my own 34 commitment. years later, yeah. this is yeah. what the safari can do to you. Yeah, yeah, it's given me a lot. But yeah. Back to the WRC and everything, you are talking about tourism, everyone is talking about tourism and in 2002 we lost a lot of tourism attraction into the country. If we get this event, what will be the impact like for Kenya and Africa? Because this is the only event that is being considered in Africa. Don't forget the government is directly involved <laughs> yes. in getting, trying to get safari, the mm -hmm. WRC. Mm -hmm. Phineas Kimadi, President Uru Kenyatta, and there are lots of other officials who are working together to make sure that we get WRC. But getting a WRC is not just for the sport itself. It yeah. works a lot for the country. Mm -hmm. We get tourism. Mm -hmm. During, I remember the olden days when there, it was WRC, hotels were fully booked. Yes. There were lots of tourists. Mm -hmm. They would come and see action, they would see animals, wildlife and all that. Yeah. And it used to help tourism grow mm -hmm. in number. Yeah. And from that time, okay, it's not gone completely down, but it can still come up. Mm -hmm. So we just pray that we get the WRC status mm -hmm. and we have that uh, um, uh, strength yes. to get more tourists to Kenya to come in. and build and tourism. happen it every time when it comes yes. in, year in, year out. Going back into the day again, someone who has been in the Safari Rally for 34 years now, you have got that one memory where you are. This one, we have done it right. This is that memory that will make me forever remember the safari. What is that memory for you? I, I, I <laughs> there's several memories and uh, mm -hmm. I, talking to Campbell, yes. the British <laughs> rally director, yeah. and when I told him I've done 18 safaris and finished mm -hmm. 15, he says, wow. <laughs> yeah. And, and when somebody says, wow, and that's the time the feeling gets in, they say, yes. Yeah, you this girl's yeah. done something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 18 safaris, safari yeah. when it was 5,800 kilometers yes. endurance. Mm -hmm. And my first ever fi finished that time. So that time, the results didn't matter. It mm -hmm. was finishing anywhere. Just finished the safari. Yeah. And I finished. Yeah. From that time on, uh, lots of memories. Uh, the best ever memory right now, and it carries uh, lots of weight, is having navigated Patrick Giro in the 1994 uh -huh. Safari Rally. Yes. The only African, black African, to finish fourth overall in a WRC mm -hmm. and winning the Group N class. Class. And beating the then mm -hmm. world champion, yes. Rich, the late Richard Barnes. Wow. We were in the same team, Subaru mm -hmm. team. Yeah. yeah. So that. And then. Uh, doing rallies in South Africa, mm -hmm. in uh, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. You know, at home, you know where Pangani is. Close your eyes, tell your driver, go there. Go to Pangani. But when you're in Rwanda, mm -hmm. first you're driving on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. you okay? Yeah. And everything is on the left here. So mm -hmm. roundabout is not this way, you're going this way. So that yeah. is also confusing. Yes. And to do an event there and to finish and do well, mm -hmm. those are memories for you. Yeah. So lots of memories for lots of things. And the, the thing is meeting people like you, yes. great, having, making friends. Mm -hmm. And I made thousands and thousands of friends. And it, it's, it's, it's a great fun. We should do a, a rally museum, yeah. a safari rally museum, one so with your pictures, because they're great pictures. Abdul, we really appreciate you coming here to tell us all everything about the safari rally. So from here, where are you heading to? I'm going to Gara Sports Club. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Gara Sports Club, yeah. for providing me with the venue where mm -hmm. I teach my students, Abdul Sidi Rally Academy. Mm -hmm. Poor guys are waiting for me. <laughs> I usually <laughs> preach and yes. I, I, come on, yeah. don't be late. Yes. In rallying, mm -hmm. if you're one minute late yeah. is 10 seconds penalty. Yeah. If you're one minute early, okay. yeah. is 60 seconds penalty. Uh -huh. So can you imagine, you have to be precisely on time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, not, I'm going to be about And that's not the only class you have at Ngara. I think you have another one at Carnival also. Yeah, at yeah. Uh, GP Cutting. GP Cutting, yeah. yeah. From time to time, yeah. I, I actually move yeah. from one place to another. Uh -huh. But yeah, Ngara is at the moment uh, hosting me. Yeah. And uh, my guys are there, while yeah. they're waiting. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's always a... F it's fun on Saturday afternoons if you're free, if yeah. your friends are free. Yeah. Uh, all those listening to this, uh, yeah. uh, my adventures, please come and see me. Yeah. Uh, it's something uh, that is really creating a good 
environment yeah. and uh, if you want to come and be a rally driver or navigator you can you have to be a, a one with a driving license yes. but if you don't have that look at the 100 marshals and officials who are working for the yes. safari yeah they're not rally drivers and the but events are happening here in here out yeah, yeah, here yeah. In, and then mm. you have got uh, eight events in Kenya including the safari yes around Mombasa Eldoret Kisumu Nyanyuki Nairobi mm -hmm. so you can be traveling around you can be working with those guys thanks a lot Mr Abdul to come to Y254 it has been a safari rally conversation and if you want everything to do with the safari rally one person you should follow is Abdul Sid he has been a rally navigator here in the country from the back in the 80s 90s and they told in 1994 they had their best times with Patrick Njiru but also he's a very very good and one of the most prominent safari rally journalist in the world mr abdul said you can follow him on facebook and on twitter and he can give you all that also this link will be sharing it with you and if there's anyone outside there who wants to enjoy the safari rally the abdul said rally academy is one that you can join now we are breaking with the champions league highlights a big night in europe where manchester united managed to come from two goals down to win against Paris Saint-Germain and also Tottenham money to progress to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. Let's look at those highlights. When we come back, we'll be discussing everything in the fan zone with Claudio Ranieri getting his first job again after his relegation with Fulham. We'll be right back. <laughs>